Uh, so what I've done here is I've just um, pulled up some um, some data in, in a format that you might get back from uh, ODK or Kobo. Now, this is fake data, so uh, don't think that, um, you know, your, your form probably won't look exactly like this for sure. Um, but a few things that um, you will see, so you will have some sort of a UUID number in every... Um, uh, ODK or Kobo form. And then each of these is a multiple choice question. So you can see in here we have um, under toilets, household latrine. Um, but if we go down here, you have a space. So you have open defecation. So that's a single string. And then you have a space and then other. So they've, they've given two answers to that question, but it shows up in a single column. So it makes it very difficult for us um, to analyze. In here, we have some uh, kind of hygiene health issues, um, scabies and lice and diarrhea. They've answered those three questions, but again, they just show up in one column and it makes it quite difficult um, to analyze it. So what I'm, what I'm gonna show you is if you open up uh, Click. So <clears throat> ClickSense desktop is completely free. You can go, you can download it. Um, and it's uh, more of a visualization tool. I guess that's how I got started. But actually it has this insane script editor that you can actually, um, when you load the data, you can kind of manipulate it and change it and um, make it work for uh, actually analyzing your data. Probably better than you can definitely do in Excel, um, but equivalent to what you can do um, in many other um, kind of uh, open source scripting languages such as R or something like that. So if, if you use kind of any other type of software to analyze, I would say Click might be a really good thing for you to look into as um, a single tool that will both do that analysis and um, visualize uh, something for you. So I'm in Click. I'm just going to create a new app and I'm going to name my app uh, multiple choice demo. Um, I'm going to create that and I'm going to open the app. <clears throat> okay, now you have a couple of choices here. I like to just get started with the script editor. Um, it gives me a little bit more control over what I do with my uh, data. Okay, so it's just going to bring me into this kind of scary looking screen. And if you're not a coder, that's no problem. Don't worry, I'm just going to take you through this step by step. Go over here to the right and create a new connection. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to all files and I'm going to go find my desktop where I have uh, saved some demo files. So. Um, what I'm going to do is just name this connection. So it's just creating like a portal to my desktop. So I'm going to create. So I've just named that connection a desktop. Then this little um, symbol here, select data. So just click on that and it will show you all of the data within desktop, okay? Um, within that connection that you've created. Um, so multiple choice test demo, uh, select that. <clears throat> okay, so here you see my sheet one. Um, so it's those same columns that I showed you in Excel. So it's actually just pulling that in start and uh, toilet hygiene health water source and UUID. Okay, so you can kind of see them there. And you can see that it's kind of created this little script here. And it's going to insert that. So we're going to insert that script. Great. So you can just see it's created this script. It's gonna load, start, end, toilet, hygiene, health, water source, and UUID from this location, okay, on my desktop. Okay, so you've created this script and then you can just press load data and it will load that data in. So if I go up here to the left-hand side and go to app overview, I can then create a new sheet and I'm just going to call this my uh, multiple choice demo and open that up. Okay. And it's just showing me that my dashboard is empty um, and I'm going to edit. Yeah. 